What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, family? All right, guys, we on our third order. We got Freddy uh, finishing in 1100 Club. We got Mr. Hilton on his way to 1000 Club. And Bakari, I haven't heard from yet, so I'm pretty sure he's up there. When he this quiet and he don't say nothing, he probably about to break the bank. So... I expect the car around 12, 13, maybe 1400. You know, that's what he do. You know, Black Mamba, too. All right, fam, we're on our way to Panera Bread. This is my third order. I want to thank Lord for waking me up this morning. I've been up since 5.30. Rolling. Had a little drama with my first order. Uh, wrong address. And then she, uh, she texted me and said, could I bring it to this address? I put the address in the Google thinking it's around the corner. It's like a half of, uh, uh, it's like 17 minutes from the other place. So I called DoorDash and uh, they they up my, what you call So it went from uh, 650 to um, $10.50. So I get there, she tell me, you didn't have to call them. They make, they charge me more money. I said, they supposed to, half a, your, your, your address was three minutes from the store. That's why I was 650. Now you got me bringing it to a, a address that's 17 minutes away from where I'm at. I was like, that's six something miles difference. I got to get paid for that. I would have tipped you, girl, go ahead. <laughs> that's what I told girl, go ahead, man. Just take your food. Like I said, you didn't have to call. You could have just brung it. Like, girl, uh, she lucky I ain't say what I want to say. Not being disrespectful, but I would have told her if you put the right address in, we wouldn't have this problem. But y'all want somebody to do something for free. This is how I make my living. Side job. You know what I mean? If it would have been a mile away, it wouldn't have been no what you call it. But it was six miles away, 17 minutes from uh, two minutes. Because two minutes was from the other address. She probably was over her boyfriend's house. Or her parents' house, one or the other, and she forgot where she was at. That's all good, family. Please make sure if you got to change your address, before you go to that address, if they text you another address, get that um, confirmed through DoorDash so you can get paid for it. If you go, here's what happened if you don't. You'll go to that address, and then you find out that you cannot complete your thing because you had the wrong address. Then you have to go back to the address, the original address that's on the app, to close out. You done lost time, money, and an order. So it's best to go ahead and just sit there, get DoorDash on the phone, get them the address that they want you to bring it to. DoorDash will calculate that in there while you're waiting, and you'll see the money. It is going to change. If it's, if it's further than what it's supposed to be, it's going to change. You're going to get more money. If it's not, it, it'll stay the same. So that's how that works. So we're going to Panera Bread right now. Had a great, um, great, well, I had a nice day yesterday. Uh, didn't hit my goal, but, you know, because I had a tournament. We had to go all the way to Orlando, hour and a half away. It wasn't a tournament, I'm sorry. It's a travel league. And um, it was it was rough. It was rough. I did okay. I didn't do. I was like maybe ten pins of, of, under my average. I averaged two or eight, so I, I averaged around about one ninety eight, which sucked because the house wasn't a house shot. It was a modified house shot, which really sucks. But we had a good time. We took four out of five. Four out of nine. I'm sorry. It was a struggle, man. It was a struggle. Everybody on my team, including the wife, had a, a hard time, man. Everybody. I got back in time to dash, but I decided since I'm dashing all day, I would spend the rest of the evening with the wife. I didn't dash after I got done. But today, I probably won't even see my wife. I'm going to be out here getting it today. Feel me, family? 
So the goal today is whatever you make. I'm not setting a goal because I'm trying to break the bank. But if you want to go 130, 60. 130 full time, 60 part time. If you want to go. If not, do what, I'm about, do what I'm about to do. I'm about to break the bank. All right, this this um this will be my third order. This will put us over twenty dollars. So hopefully we'll keep climbing up. This right here is um five dollars. Not doing anything on the four. Being my my bottom, I always set my bottom to keep me humble. But I try to keep track of my because you got to do a hundred to be an uh, elite boat. I mean elite bowler. Mm -hmm. Elite Dasher, you got to do 100 plus you got to have your ratings up high. My ratings are pretty decent. I got a 4.93 customer service rating. Uh, that's the most important thing, is keeping that up. And then my acceptor ratings is, is in the 90s. It was 87, but it's in the 90s now. I got it back up. So if I keep those two high, I'll be all right. So I got to pick this order up for Dorica. Never heard of a name like that, but I sound it out. And it's Dorica. So let's go get the Dorica food. Sound like a vacuum cleaner. But you know. That's how we do. We're gonna get this food. Put my mask on. Seen a guy yesterday get locked up uh, in Walmart for not wearing his mask. Well, they escorted him out, and then he acted a fool. And uh, police was out there, and they ended up putting him in handcuffs, taking him on down. Man, they're not playing, man. I don't want those. I don't want that smoke, as the young people would say. Be right back. I'm back, family. All right, let's get the week of her order. Fletcher Street, 701, probably two. Okay, that's right up the street then. I like easy and fast money. That's the best money right there. 701 East Fletcher. Let's take East Fowler Avenue, Tampa, and North Nebraska Avenue University, Hillsboro Co. Okay, do you got to say all that? All set, let's go. Turn left, then turn right on Bruce B. Downs Boulevard. 215. Turn left. Shut up. Then turn right on Bruce B. Downs Boulevard. Pain in the butt. Turn right on Bruce B. Downs Boulevard. She's a little. Then stay to the right to East Fowler Avenue. She's a little active today. Fowler and just stay to the right. chipper. Then turn right on <laughs> East Fowler Avenue. That didn't give me a chance to move. She, tell, she gave me like five different instructions. Turn right on East Fowler Avenue. She woke this morning, boy. When I need her to be woke, she ain't woke. All right, family, we on our way. miles. Turn, Turn her right down a little bit. There's a lot of stuff going on today. It's supposed to be something coming through Florida. Black Black Lives Matter movement something. Parade or something. I heard. I don't know. Heard something on the radio. Um, I'm going to be out here dashing. You know. So hopefully I can stay out the way. Don't get caught in no traffic jams. Or, you know what I mean? Stuff like that can back up traffic. Especially when you're dashing through these neighborhoods. John, Trinity, I got a 15. John, I'm going to call you this morning, man. See how you doing, man. Definitely going to call you. And check on you. I haven't got no updates on my grandfather yet, but nobody said anything, so I'm taking that he's doing pretty good. He got his own room, so I know he happy. Sure. I love my grandfather, boy. He was the coolest.
coolest cat when I was growing up, man. I thought growing your own food and your vegetables, I thought that was the coolest thing in the world, man. You always had a garden. You just cooked the good old collard greens and kale, man, cabbage. It was just nice to see something done from scratch because I always thought I was going to be a cook. I mean, I can cook now. Don't get me wrong. I choose not to, but I can cook. I'm, I'm, I'm surrounded. I was surrounded by some great cooks. My grandma, Mickey, she was a great cook. My mom's a great cook. All my aunts can cook. So, but I ain't gonna say all of them. I know my Eva can cook. My Goody, Goody can cook. I don't know about cooking. <laughs> I know Dog can't cook. She probably can cook something she can eat. But uh, the rest of my aunts, I know they can burn, man. No, they can burn. So I picked up some goods, what you call it, as a kid. I'm still trying to get my grandmother biscuits recipe down. She used to make it out of stretch flour. Man, we're talking about some good old hot butter biscuits. Good Jesus. I'm getting hungry, mouth getting water, thinking about them biscuits. But uh, yeah, it was, it was wonderful to see my grandfather in his prime. Doing what he loved to do, man. Growing tomatoes and all that stuff, man. That stuff was amazing, man. I used to watch him plant it, and then I see the finished product. I just was amazed by it. Oh, boy. Coffee good as a mug, man. I want me another cup. All right, so we're going to deliver this. This is right up the street, which I, I love short orders. That means I can make more money. Today I'm dashing all day, all day, all night. Okay, it's gonna be on my right or left. Oh, it's gonna be in that hotel, 701. You've arrived, destination is on your left. Yeah, it's at the hotel. This this the only hotel I know that you got to go a whole mile up the road to make a hotel. I mean to make a U-turn to go to. Gee, Christmas, I hate this hotel. You can't make a U-turn here because that goes into the um, the freeway. You got to go all the way down here. Maryland, I mean Florida is not a U-turn friendly state. Gee, Christmas. Look how far I got to go to make a freaking U-turn, family. That make no sense, man. And then, this is a legal U-turn. I ain't even supposed to make a U-turn here. I supposed to go further down. Because there's no po-po, and I ain't scared of no po-po. I made a U-turn. <laughs> Alright, now I got to go all the way back down here. Approaching a railroad crossing. Shut up. I'm upset now. I would rather for the GPS to take me all the way around and bring me back up this way so I can just make it right instead of bringing me this way. And this is the hotel that got the gated community gate with the guards outside. 215 instruction. No, I said instruction. Hand it to me. I'm going to hand it to you. Right. Room 215. Can't get to it no other way. All right, Papa John. All right, I'm going through the gate. 701. No security guard out here today. All right, that's a good thing. Now we're looking for room 215. All right. 212. Do they got an even side and an odd side? Eleven. Okay, it must be on the other side. Two thirteen. Two is that two fifteen? No, that's two fourteen. Where's two fifteen? All right, let's go around the other side. God, 
you can't even get to their steps. Their steps unless you go through the office. They got all the steps blocked off. 214. Oh, shoot. You got to go through the front to get to freaking room. There's no going to the room without going to the front office. Ain't that about nothing? You got this place locked down, boy. All right, I'm going to room 215. All right, I'll be right back, fam. I'm back, fam. See all this sweat on my head? This is this hotel right here, man. You got... Uh, it's only one way in and one way out. You have to go through the office. You can't go up the steps. None of the elevators. They got them all boarded up. I had to walk from... Instead of me driving around, just go walk up the steps and go to the room. I had to walk around a whole freaking hotel just to get to room 215. Not no more. If I see 701 pop up... I'm not coming here. I think this is more... I don't think this is a regular hotel. Motel, whatever the hell you want to call it. I think this is where people live. They buy these rooms or they, they rent these rooms for the month. Like extended stay. But... That was not worth $5. At least I know I ain't in shape. That's for damn sure. I am sweating like a pig. Do a pig sweat? I don't know. All right, we got a McDonald's order here. Might as well go ahead and do it. It's not below my um, standards. Five fifty. Got a brother working hard out here in these streets. Never seen anything like it in my life. Come on. I feel like I've been beaten. All that walking. Woo. Why you got me going down Fowler? Oh, okay. So it's on Fowler. Oh. All right, we're going to this McDonald's right here. I ain't checked the address. Make sure it ain't 701 Fletcher. Because if it's 701 Fletcher, I'm declining the hell out of it. All right, Brittany, you lucky. Leave at my door. Call me if any problem. Please check to me. Alright, so it ain't 701. I should have looked at it before I accepted it, but anything that says 701 um, Fletcher, mm -mm. it could be $10. I ain't doing it. It's oh, good right there. It's hot today. I think it's supposed to get up in the 90s. Hell, it's been in the 90s every day. But I think it's supposed to get up in the 90s. Turn left. Then stay to the left of East Fowler Avenue. All right, I got you, I got you. Oh, McDonald's right here on my left. Mm. Boy. You know you're out of shape when you feel it 15 seconds later. 
calves hurt, thighs hurt. <laughs> oh my God. I went to go push the elevator button because you know I'm lazy. I went to push the elevator button. It's boarded up. I didn't even notice that it was boarded. It just said push button. I pushed the elevator button. I looked. They was like, oh, it's boarded up. So I had to take the stairs. And to get the tooth, because you got to go through the main office, everything is caged up. Every step is caged and locked. So you have to go. It's one way into the hotel and one way out. So if you live on the back side, you got to go through the front side and walk to the back side. If you're on the third floor, you got to walk all the way up them steps to the third floor. And then go to your apartment. So the security, I had to go back down because they didn't have 215 on the door. So I had to walk back down and ask security, can he show me where 215 at? When I got security to take me up to 215, it was no 215. It was 17. The windows was boarded up so you couldn't see. There was no numbers on the door. So how the hell am I supposed to know it's 15? He stood there the whole time. Said, I said, I don't need you to stand here. He's like, no, you know, uh, you know, security. I was like, sir, you didn't come up here with me the first time. Why do you need to stand with me the second time? When she came to the door, I see why he was he he, he stood up there and waited. He was like, she's so beautiful. <laughs> I was like, so you use me to see what you wanted to see. She was clothed. I'm just saying he apparently he must have a crush on this woman. She was like, hey, Bernie. He was like, how you doing? <laughs> That's like my man in love. And we was walking down the steps. I said, man, you used me, man. He was like, no, I didn't, man. I just want to make sure, you know. Like, you want to make sure what? You didn't come up here with me the first time. Yeah, he liked that woman. You know us men. We'll use you till we get to what we need to get to. And make a U-turn on East Fowler Avenue. Hell, for all that, for all I went through, I could have gave him the food and he could have delivered it. Hell, I would have gave him a tip. Here you go, man. Here, take these two dollars and take this to room two fifteen. He probably said, "Nah, I keep your money. I do it for free." Well, at least I met somebody. His name Bernie. Security. Turn right, then make a U-turn on auto. Look, we right here. Why you telling me make a U-turn? Big old McDonald's. GPS all screwed up. She messing with me today, man. She pushing my nerves. I only got a little bit of nerves left. And she, she, she done jumped on the main nerve. Can I help you? Yes, I got the McDonald's six um, for DoorDash six eight zero one four six. You gotta come in, sir. I gotta come in? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, thank you. Can't get it through drive-through. Got it through drive-through this morning. Now I gotta come in. How the hell do I gotta come in for? Leave. Boy, I might have to start dashing and cool off. I don't understand why I had to go in. Doesn't make sense. She got a big order. Let me see what she had. No, she don't have no big order. Six eighty, one forty six. All right. I wore my mask yesterday, so it's unpleasant. Unple to you keep using the mask over over so I had to break out this right here. Alright fam, I'll be right back. I'm back fam. It wasn't me. She get everybody hell boy. One thing I learned though. <clears throat> you can't defuse it, don't say nothing. She wasn't playing boy with nobody this morning. She is not in a good mood. So Mom taught me a long time ago. Sometimes you just have to let stuff go. I let it go. She mad at the world. 
She's like, can I see your phone? I said, ma'am, my phone is charging. I gave you, I, you know, I have the number. I need to see your phone. I said, ma'am, my phone is charged. That's why I, I, I try to come through drive through. She said, I'm gonna do it for you this one time. I said, thank you, ma'am. She was like, y'all door dash is getting on my nerves. <laughs> y'all dash is getting on my nerves. I ain't say nothing. She was looking for a fight. I couldn't give her one. I know her, I know when to keep my mouth closed. I don't, hey, if you already pissed off, I don't want to piss you off no more. If I can't make you smile, I don't say nothing. That should get me wrong. She ain't get me wrong. I understand that she had, you know, she going through something right now, so. She looked like she was short of employees. So she was frustrated, so. Plus, she always been nice to me uh, from the previous encounters, but not today. I told her, I said, why don't you smile? She's like, I ain't got nothing to be smiling about today. Come back tomorrow. I said, okay. Uh, that, that right there let me know, leave her alone. So you know what I do, family? I leave them alone. Feel like I got a turtleneck on. I couldn't get that. I couldn't figure that shirt out for nothing the other day when I was talking about this. Yeah, I feel like I got a turtleneck on. I feel like somebody choking me. I can't do this. Ah, yes. I like them. They, I feel like somebody got a hand around my throat. All right, so this is a leave it at the door. Leave it at my door. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at your door. I expect to have a great day today. At 10:30, they're giving away. I think it's a dollar fifty. I think it's a dollar fifty in the zone, or maybe it's a dollar. I don't know. But I'm happy. Any bonuses, incentive that they give, I, I'm always grateful for it because it do it do makes a difference. Whether it's a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. It, it really makes a difference. I'm just trying to hit my goal, you know. But I'm working all day today, man. I, I truly am. Man. I am not playing. I already told the wifey. She got something planned. It's going to be doing the dashing. She can, yeah, after I finish dashing, if I don't get an order, I'll take her through what she got to do, but not today. I gave up last night, yesterday evening, last night. And, you know, I normally compromise, but not today. I got stuff I need to do. I wrote a check yesterday. I got to make sure that check is covered. It's gonna be on a corner. Look like it's gonna be a corner house. What's the address? Nine ten. Turn left on East Lenebow Avenue. Lenebow Avenue. This might be it. I'll be right back, family. I'm back, family. She came out and get it. That was great. All right. Turned down one a day. I think it was three dollars. 
It's the only one I typed down, so. Right now, we sitting at four orders. We doing good. You know? 718. We doing great. It's funny how it can be 7 o'clock and look like it's 12 noon. <laughs> you know what I mean? One thing I used to love about Merlin, you knew what time it was. In the morning time, morning always seemed like it was morning. Like, it it looked like 9 o'clock in the morning. It looked like 10 o'clock in the morning. It looked like 11 p.m. You know what I mean? 11 a.m., I should I say. Here in Florida, 7 o'clock looked like 12 noon. <laughs> Daylight saving time, 6 o'clock looked like 12 noon. Oh, this guy's so trifling. This guy in this truck, I guess it's a diesel truck, blew smoke. You know how these trucks can blow all this the smoke out? Blew all this smoke in, in this um, bicycle face. I'm, I'm getting, the, I'm reaping the benefit of it. Let me call my man, see if he up this morning, man. Check on him. This smoke, homie. I guess he don't like uh, what you call him. Let me give him a call. See how he's doing this morning. Your call has been forwarded to uh. automatic voice message system three zero one five three five eight four zero nine is not available. The tone. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Big homie, what's up, man? This is Alan, man. I'll call, check on you, see how you're doing. If you get a chance, give me a call later on. Talk to you later. Peace. All right, fam. I couldn't get my big homie. I hope you're doing all right. But uh, I reached that critical time in the video, fam. When I must say goodbye, peace. All right, the day is club sun. The day is um. Remember, don't break uh, day. He picked this day for Club Sunday. Family, I'm probably going to finish in the 300 Club, maybe four. If I do a good job today, I'm going to try to get five. But right now, I'm on the edge of three and four. So I need to have a hell of a good day. You know what I mean? So continue to be safe out there. Continue to practice safe distance. And uh, make sure you sanitize and wash your hands, family. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing. You better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Peace, family. Love you.